we're getting ready to do your reading. Um, this is a full moon reading, but it may just be the whole November reading because, you know, it goes full moon to full moon. Um, I'm starting with a Wisdom Keepers Oracle, and you have got competence. To me, whenever I see the word competence or think about competence, I think able. You know, you're able to do something. You are understanding of the situation. You know what needs done, and you get it done. You are competent. Um, you do not lack knowledge in that situation or that. Um, but all competence comes from being incompetent at one time and not able. You know, you learn to do stuff. You learn to become competent in areas of your life where you felt um, maybe a lack of competence. Um, but we are going to read this. It's uh, number 14, Leo. And it is... Um, Competence carries within it efficiency, enthusiasm, flair, and flexibility. The four keys to material success. I was born a prince, but my family was exiled from our country to survive. My parents, or to survive, sorry, my parents wiped the royalty out of our past. We became a normal family in a normal world. We lived in a modest home. I went to a conventional school. I was taught to want what everyone else wanted. And as I became a young man, I worked, like everyone else, to attain stability and success. I got married, studied hard, and found respectable jobs. I made money and received recognition. Lots of recognition. I never loved what I did, nor did I expect to. What mattered was that I played by the rules provided for my wife and was winning the game. But, at the, but as time passed and my status grew, so did a sinking feeling in my gut. I felt trapped and devoid of passion as if something important was missing from my life. So my wife and I decided it was time to have children, but no matter how hard we tried, we couldn't conceive. The more frustrated, ashamed, and impotent I felt, the harder I struggled to prove myself in the professional world. I was willing to compromise everything for success, including my health and the intimacy of my marriage. As my wife and I drifted apart, my body began to suffer. Despite my stubborn attempts to deny my pain, my wife finally confronted me one night. Peering into my dulled eyes, she gripped my shoulders and exclaimed, Enough. No more success. It's killing you. It's killing us. And it's never going to fill the hole inside of you. Then, with great tenderness and sincerity, she asked me what it was that I truly dreamed of for myself and for my life. If I wasn't worried about providing for her, or so enslaved by success, what did I truly want in the moment? I realized I had never asked myself that question in my entire life. Tears rolled down my face like an undammed river. Together with my wife, I learned how to dream again. Eventually, we grabbed hold of our souls, let go of the empire, and embarked on an unexpected adventure. It was nothing less than pure enthusiasm that led us back home to my country of birth and ultimately awakened my true competence. Now I am far from normal. A king devoted to serving and protecting thousands of returning child refugees. My wife and I love each other and all that we do. My enthusiasm is so contagious that the children can't help but follow their hearts. I'm here to remind you of your dreams and to encourage you to take an honest look at your life. It is time to put the fire back into your belly and to stop making compromises. The more you compromise, the more trapped you will become in life. That isn't even yours. You were born to inherit a rich, fulfilling, and harmonious life and experience competence. I see you cutting through obstacles, loving what you do, becoming a magnetic original, and adapting creatively to each new synchronistic opportunity that comes your way, open to the bount bountiness that awaits. You know, this is really about like not settling for less than what you feel um, you are capable of and you not only are capable of, like you're kind of made to do. He was made to to be more than just um, what he, it's really about not setting those boxy boundaries for yourself when you know your potential and you are um, able to do more and you're meant to do more. Um, uh not to like and, and if you're doing a lot and you're doing it well you're doing a good job of it but you aren't passionate about it and it doesn't light your fire as I always say and they said put the fire back in your belly then why are you doing it and 
it, it will kill you slowly to not have any passion towards what you're doing. So I really feel like this is asking Leo you to reevaluate what you're putting all your energy towards. And is it something you're really passionate about? Um, or is it just what you've been told you're capable of or you're competent of? You know, and that's that's kind of what I'm feeling here. It's like you'll be a lot happier if you're doing something that's... Um, I'm sorry, I'm really stuffed up today, guys. My head's just, I'm trying to get these done, and I'm just, um, oh, it's like, it, it's really asking you, Leo, and I, what really stood out to me is when his wife asked him, if you didn't have to take care of me, if you didn't have these obligations or this responsibility, you know, and you hadn't been told you have to work hard or you have to, which it is hard work. No matter what you do, it's going to be hard work, but shouldn't it be doing something that you're passionate about, something you want, something you desire, something you feel in your gut? Um, yes, it should. Um, we got release. There could be something you do need to release, Leo. Something that you're just doing that you're not passionate about. Um, maybe it's not lighting your fire. Maybe it's not even meant for you. Maybe you're meant for something a little greater here. And trust. And if you release something, trust that even if things um, are seeming to be um, like, oh, I love that. Release. Releasing some old things and trusting that those things are going to bring in something much better. I'm getting that from this reading so far, Leo. Um, I'm not sure. Well, here we go. You and your loved ones are safe. So maybe you are working really hard, like in doing something or putting your energy towards something. This could be just overcompensating. I was feeling that like overcompensation um, for where you... Maybe where you have lacked in the past or something, and you need to release that so that you can stop overcompensating in areas of your life now because you think um, it's going to make your loved one safer or better or whatever when it has nothing to do with they are, they're fine. Um, maybe you have an extreme um, fear or a, I don't even want to say fear, but like an anxiety or something about proving yourself. Um, this is a new moon in Cancer here. Um, and then we got conclusions are within reach. Trust could be something you're really stressing out about. Um, that's what I'm feeling like stress. Um, he was really stressing out about wondering if he was ever going to be able to have children or, and then he's just like, I, and it's just like, I'm never going to like, I feel like that. I'm never going to be good enough or I'm never going to make this happen or whatever. And he just had to start following his gut and his heart. I do want to go back to that card real quick because with this, um, I'm just feeling like um, I want to check that out again. <sighs> Put the fire back in your belly and stop making compromises. Maybe you're worried if you, you know, do release some like old ways of doing things or something like that. Um, it's going to cause issues within the family or issues within um, a relationship. But it's making you like there, there could be a feeling of feeling trapped here, trapped in a place where you're trying to take care of stuff that maybe you're not passionate about, trapped in a job, trapped in a relationship, trapped in a, uh, it could be anywhere, anything. I mean, but there's something coming around here and this is nice because this is a full moon eclipse and that's actually what we're getting. Um, is our lunar um, eclipse tonight. Tonight, um, So trust that some good things are coming through, through releasing maybe some fears, some anxieties about if I don't do it, nobody's going to do it. Um, something like that. I see you cutting through obstacles, loving what you do, becoming a magnetic original. Like maybe you're afraid, hey, if I release this job or I release this um, situation or something, I'm everybody's going to suffer, including me, and I'm not going to... Um, find something better or but there is something better like you're meant for something better there's something for leo i'm reading for the leos i'm reading for where it's like really asking you um to really put your energy into what makes you passionate what makes you excited um uh, 
What dream is asking to be pulled out of the closet? Find a way to rekindle a dream and share your bounty today. Trust. So I am going to read um, this release and this trust real quick. The sacred landscape wants you to know when you receive this card, it is time to let go and surrender. Let go of situations, people, and objects that do not serve you. Let go of the old, outmoded self-belief systems that drag you down. I was feeling that. The belief that you have to, like, work to the bone, even if you don't enjoy yourself. Even if you aren't, um, you know, work on something. Do something for other people. Um, when it's not making you happy, you can still help. Actually, you'll help more people by doing something you enjoy doing, um, if that makes sense. Because you're going to have passion about it, which means you're going to thrive in that area of your life because you are bringing your passion to it. If you are holding on to the old, it is difficult for anything new to come in your life. Begin to clear your home and living environments of clutter. If you don't love it or use it, it's probably clutter. Clear it out of your space. It's time to detox. To get ready for the new, you must release the old. And that is saying, release anything that's holding you back from just being clear and happy in what you're doing. And if it doesn't bring you joy, release it. This can be thought patterns. This can be relationships. This could be a job. This could be just doing something you are used to doing because you, maybe people count on you to do it. Maybe, um, you know, it could be anything. But it's saying not to worry. Trust. Your family, your loved ones, all that are safe if it has anything to do with any ideas that, um, you know, your family is protected, you're protected. Um, spirit wants you to move towards what makes you passionate and what makes you, um, what, what, what your spirit's guiding you to do. Um, I feel like, uh, and then I'm going to read this trust card. It's really nice. Like, this is a really good reading, Leo. Um. This is a powerful and important card to receive. Even when things seem parched or not fruitful, a deeper energy speaks of the power of your inner knowing. Meditate. Trust those nudges from the universe. Your celestial advisors are close now. You are now open to receive some of the most important messages of your life through your intuition. Your intuition is spot on, so trust it. And even if there are some areas of your life that seem lackluster, know that other areas are being fertilized for a resplendent future have faith and know that there is a higher purpose so if some things do need released and are um you know you're it's good stuff coming in i feel like there's just something better coming in here and you there's a real strong need to trust the process right now as you kind of reevaluate what it is you need to release and what it is you're putting your energy into um that's going to be beneficial to you or isn't beneficial to you. So that is the Oracle for you guys' um, reading. But we are going to pull some energies that are going to be um, kind of leaving um, through this time. The Will of Destiny. So just a lot of changes, a lot of stuff. Maybe recently, since this is a kind of in the past position, um, you're in the process of releasing things. Releasing, it could be jobs, relationships, um, ways of thinking, ways of doing things. Um, and you need to trust that you're safe and your loved ones are safe. And right around the corner, we got um, some answers and some conclusions and a kind of a final destiny is what I'm feeling. Um, the three of wands, um, you could be feeling like, <sighs> I am getting like that waiting energy, like you're waiting for something. Um, you could be waiting for Somebody else to give you an answer on something or something like that. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an R sign, but this could just be something really you've been waiting on for a very long time. And it's slowly, like, it's stable, whatever it is. This could be a job. This could be um, just even some information or some um, maybe taking action on something that you've been working on for a very long time. Deep down. But you're kind of waiting for something. I feel like you could be waiting for an opportunity um, to kind of um, put yourself into something that maybe you've been working on putting yourself into, whether this is a temperance, being balanced. 
And this is doing the work inside, you guys. Um, maybe you got a little more work here inside to do here. Um, and it's probably a releasing of maybe some inner stuff that's keeping, like, kind of, you find yourself throwing you off balance. And it could be, and then the hermit, you could just be keeping yourself waiting instead of going out. Um, I feel like through this full moon, you guys are going to be kind of stepping out. Maybe you've been in a place where you've kind of been waiting for some kind of, um, something you want to invest in something you really want to be a part of maybe something you're truly passionate about and you're waiting to, there's a, a need to maybe I feel like there's a fear here that you need to release about something about security safety of your family or safety of yourself something like that that needs released in order to move forward with this really um and plant this like it could be the beginning of something really, really good and transformative. Something that transforms a huge part of your life. Um, but it is going to require you kind of balancing inside of yourself. And I feel like there is some shadow work maybe with some things you need to release here, Leo. Um, and come out and kind of... Um, let me... waiting for something here in the recent past. I think you're going to kind of quit waiting though. Like the waiting kind of is over. Um, maybe it's a message. Maybe it's some kind of communication about something stable coming in. Um, but there is something here I feel like, and I feel like you may have a fear of investing yourself in something you really want to be a part of because you think it's going to um, take away from your loved ones or something like that. There's some kind of fear you need to release, I feel like, here in putting yourself into something and putting yourself into it very, this is like really connecting with yourself and the universe and balancing that inner balance of seeing things just like temperance to me is like so many things. It's inner balance between our, our dreams, our fears, our reality, our dreams, and really bringing those together to really create something really real that's actually connected to something much, much bigger. And it's really, there's something definitely being balanced out here. Um, by you releasing some things, I feel like maybe you have already released some things and that's good. And now you're kind of waiting for, sh for your ships to come in and you're waiting to see, okay, um, Maybe you're waiting for somebody, not somebody, but a situation or something to really see you, see you. Um, there is a, but you have to like, there's a, you're coming out like first it's like getting out and kind of showing, Hey, I'm here. Like there's a stability here, a balance that's kind of been restored through. And I don't know how long of a time period this has been Leo, but it looks like some work has been done. feels like some work has been done. And right around the corner, there's just a need to come out and kind of not, the hermit was in reverse, you know, not seclude yourself from your dreams and what you want. Um, not like shrivel up and go, oh, this is it. You know, it's to keep your eye out for the prize and to keep moving towards it. Um, even if that process seems slow, it takes a while to balance out those things within us that we need to balance out to make sure we're ready. Like, I feel like you are preparing yourself for something. There's a preparation energy here too. And we got on the bottom purification. That could be the process you've been. And that's also temperance too. It's like purifying the inside though, purifying you, um, inside, like the way you handle your emotions and your dreams and your failures I don't like to call them failures but you know those times in our life where we you mean that's what you need to release is those it's like leave that like it isn't serving you today um I'm tired to read the bottom of this teamwork you could be needy you could be waiting for some kind of acknowledgement or recognition or some kind of collaboration with somebody or some situation um to really balance things out in your life. Like something really good coming in here. Purification. The answers you need are coming. Maybe you're really waiting on something here. 
and then three of cups this is also collaboration um and then we got the three of wands too here it's like kind of waiting for something to come together um but i think you got to really through this full moon you're kind of kind of be having to put yourself into what you're passionate about you're going to have to kind of become a part of it um and i feel like some things have slowly fell away to where this is becoming a real possibility whatever this is i have no idea what the what this is all i know is it's something you'll know if this is for you all right leo so this is your guys's reading for this time period i hope you guys enjoyed it i always appreciate you guys coming and watching your readings i appreciate your likes your subscribes and um i hope you guys have a good rest of your month and a good full moon and we'll talk to you later mm -hmm.